It's horror time, baby! Почет, товарищ! My name is Kelman, welcome to that Russian gamer guy, and welcome to Martha is Dead. The game was released just today, and I'm extra excited to try it out, because the developer, they created another one, another game that we played, it's called The Town of Light. You should check it out if you haven't done it yet, it's so freaking good. So, uh, let me read it for you what Martha is Dead is all about. Uh, Martha is Dead is a dark first-person psychological thriller set in 1944 Italy that blurs the lines between reality, superstition, and the tragedy of war. Gee, I mean, we all know what's happening now, huh? Uh, as conflict inter intensifies between German and Allied forces, the uh, this a great that body of a woman is found droned, Martha. That's what's up. It sounds like something that we're gonna investigate. So let's go. Let's go ahead and start it. Oh my gosh, what's happening to me today? I cannot talk. Uh, please adjust the brightness. Okay, bitch. Uh, she's barely visible. Yes, she is barely visible. Uh. The story of Marty is that, and its featured characters are work of fiction. Okay, uh, whatever uh, happens, it's all a fiction. Uh, if you are someone you know struggling, information and uh, crisis resources are available at safeinourworld.org. All right, find help. Also, you can talk to me. I don't mind. I love y'all. Well, that looks pretty. Oh my gosh. She's so beautiful. Ciao. I'm Julia. Julia K. I'm Ciao. glad you are here. Nobody has visited me in ages. It's been years now. I must tell you my story, but I don't know where to begin. There is so much that I should start from my childhood, but my memories of these times are vague. I only remember the summer of 1929, when they sent me off to stay with my nanny. Wow, the game looks so freaking good, oh my gosh. Did you guys see her scar? Gee, she's no joke, Scarface. Nanny, uh, the legend. will you tell me the story of the White Lady? No, Little Sparrow, not tonight. A fog is coming, see? Yes. I know that when it's foggy, the lady kills young women. But why is she so evil? You see, Julia, pain and suffering can make us do evil things. Even if we're not actually bad. Also, like a lack of a good deed. I like the lady I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. The poor dear. She still scares me a little, though. Soon I'll be a young woman, and she could kill me. Does she kill those who love her? Of course not. That makes me feel better because I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Your sister is with your mother, so do not worry. Do you miss them? No. I mean, yes, I miss Martha a little, but I love spending time with you. Now. Go to sleep, Little Sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful. Yes, very much so. Then she'll be beautiful in my dreams. And will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Young Listen, and beautiful, Nanny. baby. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman... Oh. Could you tell me her story, even if it's foggy outside? Please. Oh, please. Then I'll sleep. I promise. Oh, all right. You always get your own way. Jesus Christ, this child. So cute and nice. Oh, my gosh. I what a cute girl. I love that story. Every time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night I would ask her to tell me about it, even though it scared me. Even now I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. The White Lady. 
Looks creepy. Ah, uh, move camera, okay. According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. What a motherfucker! Why would you kill me? Neglectful lover. She was expecting a lover stroll by the lake, gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. I saw you creeping in the garden. So much hope and desire, but death, not love, was awaiting her. Hope is a dangerous thing for a woman like me to have. In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. I mean... Yago, is that you? Oh. So, he was hanged on the small island, in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. Are you... are you... coming to the tree? They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. The bitch disappeared. Look at this doll on the floor. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. She grieves eternally for the loss of the man she loved. The White Lady. It's like the White Lady from Dreamfall, when The Fog Longest arises, Journey. The White Lady is known to leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods, looking for her long lost love. In vain, within the fog of dawn, hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance. Oh, uh, let's speak up already. I'm a little scared of this story, even though I like the lady. Should I stop reading my little spell? No, 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 I want to no, listen. No, Nanny. Daddy always tells me that fear must be faced. Not afraid. Okay, honey. Wow, the music is so creepy. I really hope it's not Every licensed. Time the sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul. She takes the life of a young woman by slaying such a life in its youth, even just for an instant. Slay the life. The lady feels free from the burden of her pain. Slay queen. <laughs> I'm so nasty. I'm ruining your experience. That's it, huh? Good night, nanny. Oh, that's Good night, it? my love. Bitch, the story is not finished. So she's slaying them girls, so what? I spent almost Slay. three years with the nanny, but when I came home, I quickly forgot how to be happy. My memories did not return until 15 years later, in 1944, when I stayed in that house. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals, or whatever else was in that damned place. Bitch, are they gonna be like zon- Oh shit! That's creepy. The lake. July 16th, 1944. What about the second war? Let's interact. Wow, game looks so beautiful. Open the camera. Remove the old roll of film. Uh, okay. Let me put it back. Put the new film in. I mean, thanks for explaining, thanks for the tutorial. Close the camera. Load the film. Take my picture! Activate the timer. Hey yo! Almost Ooh. ready. Now to bring the image into focus. Bitch, I couldn't do it in Life is Strange, so... I don't know if I'll be able to bring it to focus in here. There's something floating on the surface of the water. If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. It's a fucking dead body. Fucking dead body. Oh my god. What? 
girl. Is that a person? I must help them. Bitch is dead. <laughs> oh fuck me, it's too fast. What's popping? What's popping? I was horrified at the idea that someone might have drowned in my lake. The lake was my world, where I would spend entire days daydreaming. I would lose myself in my thoughts, but that was a rude awakening. So terrible. She, I mean, she died. She legit died. What's that? Oh fuck me, the music is so cool. W to swim, alright. Marta, is that you? Kinda looks like Lara Croft. When I was playing her. Marta, babe. Mouth to mouth. Oh shit, 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 she's gonna jump in my face, I instantly no. noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. I was scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. Who? Oh. It was my sister. Oh, bleh. My twin, a part of me. Dead. Impossible to comprehend. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do or to think. Riposare in pace. Oh, I have boy. to stay calm. Are you bullshitting me? What the fuck Martha is this? Is not dead. She is. It's not possible. Bitch, you're gonna. Ugh. Ugh, she creepy. It's not Ugh, she creepy. True. There's no need to worry. Everything is fine. Everything will be fine. This. I have oh, to stay this is calm. So scary. <laughs> Martha is not dead. Martha, February twenty sixth, nineteen twenty three. Oh, she has a little medallion, just like a dog. Is everything okay? Are you hurt? Maybe we should turn off motion blur. It's so shitty. What are you doing? Oh, maybe it's not motion Go, blur. Go, Eric, run. My She's parents like, ran Go. towards me. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me. Speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. I didn't want the moment to fade. So I meekly nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. I would have to pretend to be Martha. Forever. Oh, they looked exactly the same. That's what is happening. Fuck me. New chapter. The body. One day after Martyr's death. A uh, sign of the cross. Get up. Sign of the cross. O Lord who gives life to the dying. Let your sacrifice of love be offered for Martha's soul. Into your hands I also entrust my spirit. So that I may be reunited with her in perpetual light, to never suffer the desolation of purgatory. Please grant her eternal rest, O Lord, and may eternal light shine upon her. All right, rest in peace, babe. Did you remember to light the candles in the hall? People will be here soon. Mummy always finds something for everyone to do. Uh. Tap uh, to highlight points of interest. Books, books, and more books. In our villa, there must be ten times more than even here. 
Alright, the Emperor achievement unlocked. Uh, do you guys see how beautiful um, ray tracing is? That's cute. Um, anyways. Mommy and Daddy. They are the epitome of wealth and elegance. But pain pays no heed to money and style. This painter was a friend of Grandpa's. I always loved his paintings. As a child, I used to look at them for hours. The only way people could tell Martha and me apart was by dressing differently. Even Mother couldn't tell us apart. Yeah, you see, I'm telling y'all, uh, they were looking just exactly the same. Uh, twins. But she's dead and now we are pretending that we are Martha till the end of our life, huh? That's creepy. July 17th, 1944. Our family is deeply saddened and is thinking of you during this extremely difficult time. Ernesto E. and family. July 17th, 1944. Our hearts are with you and we share your grief in the wake of the tragic loss of your dearest Julia. Monsignor Attilio D. Oh, I love Italian. July 17th, 1944. Ministry of War. Director General for Conscripts and NCOs. We are grieving over your sudden loss, and we send you our heartfelt condolences. The Lieutenant Colonel Rapporteur. Okay, so it looks like uh, they are um, kind of like pretty rich family, famous family, because everybody is sending their uh, postcards to An them. An old painting. I find it so sad. It communicates a sense of deep solitude to me. Well, Deep Solitude is not sad, so don't say it like that, okay? There's no reason to use the phone right now. A telegraph box. I know how to use it. Daddy taught me. Oh, bitch! He's a vampire! Look, we cannot see his reflection. I cannot also see my reflection. Are you bullshitting me? That's a vampire thing. Oh, what's that? Daddy's oboe. We were preparing a really nice duet together. Girl, On what's the rare that? He's at home, that is. Bitch, it's a lighter. What should I. Daddy must be devastated. He loves me. I messed up and now I have to watch him suffer my death. I can at least light the candles and let him find some comfort in sleep. Oh, okay. I'll light them candles. Cacciatore! Salvatore can wait, now it's time to eat, soft ice cream. What about Martha? Should I light her up too? Wow, wow, wow. This music is kind of... Can I turn off the radio? When you're done, can you come and get the flowers, please? Will do. I'll send Martha if you like. <sighs> Never a moment's peace. Even at a time like this. She can't sit still for a second. I'm coming in a second. What's up with that room? I want to check this room. Like bish. Daddy's canes. They are so beautiful, but I can't say why, but they have always scared me. I mean like Lucius Malfoy. Uh, collect the flowers from mother before she gets... Oh, shit. Before she gets angry. Okay, okay, mama, I'm coming. Sup, mama? Blue hydrangea. Cold cash divine. Cashmere cologne and bright sunshine. Thank you, Mama. Everything she looks cute. Has to be perfect with her. She's Brie Van de Kamp. Thanks God somebody turned off the freaking radio. Who closed the door? Hey, who closed the door, Mama? Eric, wake up. Do you think it's appropriate to sleep here? Of all places? Let what? me listen, let me listen. Hmm? Yes. I must have fallen asleep. What are they talking about? You are they gonna jump in my forever. face? Why don't you go to bed? No, no. I want to stay with my daughter. Your daughter? Your daughter? You have another daughter, you know. The one who's still alive. Remember? What are you talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. What kind of comment is that? 
How can you? You should be thinking about Martha. Julia harmed Martha. You know that, right? And as if that were not enough, she has now also abandoned her. It's the same old story. Everything is always Julia's fault, isn't it? Her fault for Martha being deaf and for you being infertile. Do you think it's the right time for this? Julia is dead, Irene, dead. Someone killed her. Do you realize that? Of course I realize. What if she committed? It. Do you think I'm stupid? No one understands it better than me. She always brought problems. Only problems. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. Ooh. You're crazy. I'm the crazy one? Me? Wait, what if she committed? Why are they saying that somebody killed her? Also, what's up with the war? They have done this to get at me, yes. Your death is all my fault. All I could ever do for you was hurt you, Julia. My poor, sweet, crazy girl. What will I do without you? What will life be like now? All the time I didn't spend with you. But now I'm home. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. No. We can't do anything together anymore. Can we? But she looks alive. Nothing. I miss you, Julia. Don't jump in my face. I miss you. Bitch, stay dead. Oi, oi, oi. Stay dead, stay dead, bitch. Ugh. Blood. While American bombings continue to devastate the peaceful towns within the Elsa Valley, we have heard some tragic news from the area of La Ramola. The young daughter of German Army General Erich K. was murdered near her home. What possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? This is what the Carabinieri, who immediately intervened, hoped to find out. I mean, obviously she didn't like that Papa was a German officer and he wanted to kill them people. That's Mother what's up. Mother didn't seem to suffer from the situation. All she cared about was that my death was so painful for Martha. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. At the end of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died. And it was better for me, too, that people thought that. But the guilt began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. Oi, yo, banna. Martha has found... Has found... Okay, that was... That was bad. Martha has lost... Her soul. Martha has lost her soul. I mean, I told you she committed and she wanted to take a picture of herself floating. Like, you know, leave my shoes facing, pointing towards the sea. Oh, she looks like Sadako. Sadako, is that you? Oh. I, I'm telling you, she committed. Oh, I, they, they. No, that was wrong. It was actually I, I. I will sacrifice. I stole, I'll give. I'll stole. I stole her life. Identity. Obviously, I didn't kill Martha, so I just stole her identity. The 
the soul of freaking nightmare. Oh shit, she's so pretty. Oh, yup, the. Yeah, let me do it. I'll take her uh, face. I'm like Baba, Booba, Baba, I don't know how to pronounce it. You know. Leather face. Oh my gosh, Leatherface, what are you doing? I thought they deleted all the masks from the game. Are you bullshitting me? Oh shit, La Vie en Rose. Je bois La Vie en Rose. C'est magnifique. Beautiful. Beautiful, but I cannot... Oh shit. Oh shit, Martha, sister, Jesus, girl. Okay. Wake up call, gee. I love this loading screen. It's like a little comics, like a Marvel movie. Love it, love it. <laughs> it was just a dream. A horrible dream. Uh-huh. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. Okay. Let me quickly check if uh, vertical sync is on because it kind of looks like something's off. A uh, V-sync. It's on. Okay. Audio is on. I wanted to check something else. Uh, ray tracing. It's on. Everything's on. Okay. Uh, let's go back and resume. This Martha? is Martha and me at the festival of the patron saint. It was only a few months ago, and now... Yeah, I mean, they legit look the same. Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? I think Can I no. capture Martha's soul? No. Oh. We're about to do some pictures. Scary fairy tales. Everything seems to be scary lately. Yet everything here is so beautiful and bright. Why would you hang all these pictures next to your bed? It's like fucking creepy. Martha. Martha's clothes. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I uh, could let's... wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. I kind of want to wear this one. Blue. Or I mean wear. <laughs> white dress. But now it's a white dress. The magician. Achievement unlocked. Why is it the magician? Even more scary fairy tales. Oh, that red hood. Red riding hood. The second one. This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. How do I open it? Um, je n'ai les clous. We need something. 18. What's the uh, oh, calendar? 18th. Okay. I always keep my trinket box locked. I mean, hers are locked as well. What can we do? Oh gosh, if mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. It's me and Lapo, the butterfly collection that Daddy made for me. Oh, uh, unfortunately, I skipped Lapo. I think it's her a boyfriend or something. I wonder how old I am. Nanny will be visiting me soon. But bitch, not me, but Martha. I'm already dressed. It's me with the nanny. Well, maybe it was Martha. No one can remember. Gee, that's so crazy. 
I mean, I never had a twin, so I don't know how it feels like. Everything I need is always in my bag. B to open the bag. A key. You have opened Julia's bag. Here you can find objects that Julia always carries with her along with uh, any picked up uh, during the game. So it's a map and a key. The key to my trinket box. What about her trinket box? Oh. This is not the right key. I must get her key if I want to know what's inside her trinket box. Yeah, how do I do that? I want the freaking tr uh, key. Our beautiful home. In spite of everything, I prefer being here. No, bitch, legit. Here are some keys. Oh no, it's a butterfly. Butterfly effect. Uh, okay, let me open mine. Let me see if there is something beautiful. Here is my diary. Alright, Julia. July 12th, 1944. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life, a new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Nanny isn't here and that's a shame, but Martha is here with me. I also get to see Lapo more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. Oh yeah. Nothing else? July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. Very interesting. Uh, there's something mysterious happening here. I'll be right there. I'm just going upstairs to call Martha down for breakfast. I'm already here, I do not care. Fine, but I'm not sure we should let her sleep all day. What do you think? What did you say? I cannot hear it. Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. So when she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk or I will be in serious trouble. Wait, why? You guys have different voice sound? I still like to have the books and games from when I was little with me. Oh, I see Jesus. Can I talk to Jesus? No. My dress. The one Martha wore when she was... Why would you leave it like this? Hella creepy. It's about half past nine. I mean, by that time I'm already back from the gym, chilling, killing them people, getting ready for the stream, Red Dead Redemption and all the good shit. But anyways, where's the fucking key? I kind of want to uh, open the trinket box, but it doesn't look like I can do that. Um, okay. Here's the whole family together. A very rare thing indeed. Um, alright. Let's go. I'm ready for my breakfast. Auto saved. Love it. How wonderful the snow is. Unfortunately, it doesn't snow often around here. Yeah, not in LA. Uh, 
That's a phone book. Nothing specific. All the pictures, gee, they have so many pictures. Dad loves these prints of Florence. I find them a bit sad. I'd go There's to Florence. There's no shortage of paintings in our house. Mum is passionate about painting. Yeah, art. Shift to run. Oh, I can run. Run, run with the top down, baby, she flies. Run, run with the fury of the sand in your eyes. Run, run, hacha cha cha, baby, she goes. This is my it's room, locked. Julia. Strange. Why did they lock my room? I know, right? As a child, when I spent those short years with the nanny, this was my room. Um. Well, all right. Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for Yulia. I will take it away soon. Uh, I promise. The sword makes me so sad. Seeing it there is as if... I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. But let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. How are they? Oh, the, her parents are freaking together. Mummy is uh, right, though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Yeah, like Mama hates Everything her. Is more Papa loves with her. The war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. During deep winter, I would go to sleep snuggled by the fire, and Nanny would get angry. Do you want to turn into a piece of charcoal, Julia? No, I don't. Ah, uh, should I butter, eat? Bread, butter, jam, and coffee. Martha's typical breakfast. I prefer honey and milk, but. I will have to adapt to her tastes, obviously. Why can I talk though? What is this? Let's see, let's see. I want to take the camera. For Yulia, For Yulia to take more and more to take photos. more and more photos. Dad. Bitch, is she Julia or Yulia? Papa calls her J Yulia and I, I call her Julia. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph a sparrow. There are so many of them out here. Okay, but I want Chocolate. cheese. A privilege for few people in these times. Oh, yeah. Leonion del Popolo. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. Wait, I thought she committed. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Oh, yeah, well already Carabinieri heard it. Carabinieri investigates. Well already heard it. Uh, okay. First improvements in food. Okay, food, cool. Julia Kay, distressed but supported by faith. Firm bulwark even in the sky. Ah, uh, okay, nice n uh, newspaper. I don't want to read it no more. Let's go. What's my objective? K to C objectives. Uh, things to do. Marta always reads the newspaper. I have to do the same as her so no one will get suspicious. Uh, additional info. It might be on table. Try camera. Look at the ma map. Here's the map. There oh, shit. There birds around the little wall in front of the house. I always Bo put crumbs on it for them. Boy, there's a fucking map in this game. Wow. Okay, birdies, where are y'all? Sparrow, Jack Sparrow. Here we go. Hi, bestie. Sup? Can I take a pic? How do I do that? Uh, use your camera. You're about to use uh Julia's camera. It's a 1940s rail roller cord with 120 millimeter film. You'll use it to take photos throughout the game. Some photos will have hidden elements that will progress the game story. Perfect. 
Uh, while holding the camera, an icon will appear to indicate points of photographic interest. This icon will appear and become clearer uh, the closer you are. Press E to see your camera and find for fitted attachments. No camera skin unlocked. Okay. You're about to take your first picture. Uh, to simplify the simulation, the picture preview displays uh, the settings as you change them on your camera. In real life, the viewer's uh, view finder's image is controlled by the secondary lens and only responds to focus. Okay. Oh. Ooh, I can do angle. That's dope. I kind of like it this way. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's weird. It's hella weird. Let's do it. Let's take it. I'll open the advanced settings panel to make your picture unique. Do you mean unique? Explosion? Wow. That's so interesting. Wait, what's changing? Nothing's changing here. Oi, bitch, I think I like it. I think I like it. Let's go. Wait, press to switch to extra stab. Hide. Oh, you're about to take a photo where an important feature of the story hasn't been correctly framed. You can continue, but the story may not progress. Do you wish to continue? No. Wait, what? Subject out of focus. What do you mean out of focus? Why is it out of focus? I think it was nice. Uh, you have taken your first photo. You can shoot as many photos as you want throughout the game, but remember that only a few will be crucial to the story. Mm -hmm. Cool. Perfect. Continue. Excellent. I've taken the picture. Now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. That's a weird game. I'm a photographer. Daddy recently became a general in the German army. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Now that Martha is gone, only this camera can fix my ideas and my memories. I can't allow myself to forget. Do you want to call me Max Caulfield? I'm going to go to Everyday's Heroes. Uh, try the camera... Develop the uh, and print the photo in the dark room in the cellar. How do I go to the cellar? Oh, I can save the game. Let me save it Just in case uh, just in case I'm saving this shit All right play time 41 minute Is that cellar door? Where's the map? Try the camera. Oh my gosh. It's actually saying I should go um outside what do you mean? How do I go to the cellar? Oh, cellar! Jesus! I thought attic. That's what's up. When I was a waitress, wearing my white dress. That cellar? That no cellar. Bitch, other side of the house. Oh my god. It takes me... Some time. Where's the cellar? Cellar door, cellar door, cellar door, Salvatore. Ah, uh, Julia's bike can be used to get to locations faster. Oh, I don't want to do that no more. I mean, at least now. No, bitch. Are you fucking kidding me? Where's the cellar? I liked That's watching cellar. Nanny as she cooked. I always picked up loads of techniques. We are so lucky. In these difficult times, pantries are empty and people are going hungry. 
but with a German general for a father, food is never scarce. Look, that looks like blood, but it's Our actually wine. wine. Daddy is so proud of it. All right, let's go to dark room. Gee, Mark Jefferson, are you here? Daddy Mark set Jefferson. Up dark room here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the dark room when I want to. Love it. Definitely love it. All right, develop my picture. Uh, to develop a photo, you'll first have to use the enlarger. After shooting the photo, the film must be developed in several steps. Gee, that's so much. I mean, is this a photo simulator? Yeah, let's go. Choose an image. Here we go. Got it, got it. We got it. Here we go. Perfect. Enlarge. I can't develop the photo like this. Why? Card out of position. I can't develop the photo like this. I think it is in the position. Oh, okay. So why? It's like the medium, we develop pictures there too. It's like a couple seconds. Okay, okay, I see what's happening. Skill check! Skill check, besties! Great skill check! Hey, yo! In real life, immersion is developing followed by a wash, a stop bath, and then a second wash. These additional baths have been skipped uh, for the sake of simplicity. Thank you. Here you printed your photo. You can keep it in your Not album or photograph. scrap it. It seems that the camera works perfectly. Perfect. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Martha's frame. Uh, what do you mean? The high rope hand or something. Okay, put in the album. Love it. Look, happiness is a butterfly. I know what's up. Somebody's gonna jump in my face. Oh, shit, shit, shit. No. Um. The frame. A tripod is needed when I can take a self-portrait. I'm telling you, she fucking Max Caulfield. Tripod. Where I can find tripod? Here's the tripod. Why am I so smart? Gee. Camera That's is creepy. set up with the self timer. Start. There's some nasty sound. What's sulky? I don't know what's sulky. Let's do sulky then. Where's fierce? Like, take my picture, monsieur. Somebody is behind me, what's up? These workbenches fascinate me. I would love to learn carpentry. This is where Nanny's husband made my dolls. The puppets I used to play with were made here. Yeah, I but... never knew that when I was a child. They always told me that a fairy bought them. I didn't really believe them, but it was nice to think that. I'm just checking because it sounds like somebody's wa like walking here. Do you guys hear it? When I was little, these barrels seemed enormous. I thought I could live inside one. Maybe it's just me. Uh, should I develop it now? Develop the photo. Okay. Wow, it's legit like a freaking photo simulator. Somebody's gonna jump in my face, please. Why it's so creepy? It's always a thrill to develop a photo. 
No. You can't see it's anything scary. at first, yet something invisible is captured on the black film. Mm -hmm. A kind of ghost. Mm -hmm. That invisible breath then returns to reveal the reality from which it was torn. There are those who say that photography steals the soul or captures it. That's why they used to photograph the dead. But nowadays, almost nobody does it anymore. Even if it's just a delusion, I want to photograph Martha. I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me. But I have to do it secretly or they'll think I'm crazy. She wants to take a picture of the dead girl. Okay. Very interesting. Valve that shit. Oh, yeah, skill check. It's gonna be perfect skill check. I'm telling y'all. Shit, I see her. Hey, yo, she looks pretty. Wow, yes, she's beautiful. No one was ever able to tell us apart, but I never had the slightest doubt, and nor did Martha. It's strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. Now I'm telling y'all she's beautiful. The soul of the what? I was obsessively thinking about Martha and what had happened. But suddenly, a thought took control. The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when, after awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? Had I been the one that hurt my sister? I had always envied her and now I had taken her identity. I experienced wow. a suffocating pattern of thoughts. I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure. But deep down, I kept hoping they would confirm my fading memory. Wow, that's so fucked up, girl. What if she killed her? Of course the door is locked. The keys aren't hanging on the lock as usual, then they will be in Daddy's study. We live in fear now. My parents are not going to let me go to the lake anymore after Martha's death. So this is the right time. I need to know. The self-doubt I feel is eating me up. Okay, but it's fucking crazy. New chapter, the rules. The same day, 11.30pm. Okay, guys. Uh, we're gonna finish for today and continue in the next episode. The lighter can be accessed from Julia's bag when not in use. Okay, we got it. Uh, it looks like a very interesting game. It's beautiful. It has a beautiful and intriguing story. And I don't know what's gonna happen next. And it is exciting. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to drop a like, and I'll see you next time. Bye!